For the cheapest, safest, fastest coins, for Madden 2K or even FIFA, go to buymmog.com. Use code CUTE. It's easy, fast, legit. Save your time grinding. Save your money. Right now, 400 k on Madden is below $13 and use code CUTE. And 400 k on 2K is below $12. Go save your money. Have the fun you want. Top 10 safeties in Madden 23. Subscribe if you're new for all the top 10 lists to really save you a lot of coins by getting the right player and putting them in the right spot. I also do tier lists. I also do gameplays, reviews. So you know all the new players, I post them here. You can see them all in action first on the same day. So subscribe if you're new. We're here. Number 10 is Ted Hendricks. If you run a man defense, he can't help you. Um, if you leave him a man, he's getting toasted. I'm telling you. Um, six foot seven is why he's on the list as a user. But the problem with him being a user, he doesn't even get pick artists, lurker, nothing. Okay. Um, so his APs are not very good. And so he's going to be like a specialist player, right? So if you're not going to user this guy, then don't have him on your field, basically. He's number 10 on the list. You probably thought he was higher. He's not. Um, you can't put him in secondary positions. So, as you guys know, if you're really big in this game, you don't cut very well. And so, if he's trying to guard like a Tyree Kill and Tyree Kill makes a cut, this guy is so far behind him, it is not even funny. He's wide open. So, Ted Hendricks needs to be a user. He's number 10 on the list. Number 9 is Sammy Knight. Once again, cannot help you with man defense. Is not a 90. That's the threshold. Can't get it. He does throw good hit sticks. And he has good block shot, which really helps against the run. 95 speed. And yes, he is pricey. And um, it, what really sucks is what they make you pick here. you got to pick Crescent for zero or pick Artist for zero. You can't pick them both. So they kind of screwed him on his discounts. And this card can play strong safety. Do keep that in mind. But being one-dimensional, if you run a man defense, then he needs to stay off the field. He's not even a great user. He's six foot tall. So, yeah, he's good, but he's only good at certain things. Up next is C.J. Gardner, playoff champion, 96 overall, 5'11". He's not the biggest guy, but he does have some good speed, and he's got great jumping. So, this guy does animate pretty well uh, against the man he can play man or zone he has both thresholds and I will say the problem with this card is against the run block shot being 73 if you play a run heavy offense you're going to substitute him out okay um, another thing is his strength is not very well so this guy's going to get shoved around uh, so do keep that in mind also okay tip drills for zero you wish it was pick artist Crusher for one. So it's not the worst, but I'm going to say Crusher with this card, the lack of strength, size, weight, and just he's going to be one dimensional. He's more than like a cornerback than a safety, I would say. But if you're on an Eagle Steam team, you should have him. He's You can get this guy 99 XL, which is pretty silly. So CJ Gardner, go try him. Justin Reed is next. Six foot one, 95 speed. He can play man and zone. Once again, does not help against the run. So do keep that in mind. Uh, he is pricey because of his set. He gets all the AFC teams. So that's pretty cool. Pick artist for zero and deep end zone KO for one. So getting all of the AFC Kims is a big W for theme teams. Um, so that's pretty cool. He can play free safety. Do keep that in mind. So, yeah, he's a good card, but you wish he had a better AP set, and you wish he could help against the run, and you wish he was a little bit bigger. But 6-1 is good enough, but he's very weak. Uh, you could run him at a corner. Um, it's going to be fine. He does play well, and, man, he is on my team that I run a cheap steam team right now, and he's good, so give him a chance. Up next, B-Dog just came out 96 feet. You can get this guy 98 speed on an Eagles theme team. That's just crazy. Broncos as well. This guy helps against the run. This guy gets people out of the way. It's good block shed and good strength for a safety. So man and zone, he's going to help with both. Catching is going to be fine. And this card, <sighs> I don't, 
being six foot tall right now, it, it's fine, but it's not the best. He does get deep route KO for his last ability to help. But you guys do know you have to power him up to get deep route KO to a good AP. So if you don't, his APs are going to be crazy expensive. And by the time you power up this card, he is very expensive. But this is not like who's the best value list. He's just not going to be the best option right now. The next people I'm going to mention are going to play way better than this card. Uh, but B-Doc, I'm a big fan of him. But Rodney Lott, 95 speed, 6 foot tall. He has 95 jump, and you can see it. I have this card powered all the way up on my team. And I'm telling you right now, with his block shed being a 95, and you put him at corner, he really helps against the run. When wide receivers try to block someone that has 95 block shed, <laughs> it really does matter. And if you are tired of people running so much on you, it can help a little bit. His catch is great. I didn't really have any problems him dropping any balls. You do have to power him all the way up to get one AP deep out zone KO. So this card is good and he is fast and he gets really good team chems. And you can also move a strong safety. If your strong safety is not strong or really good and you just need a strong safety, um, his price has tanked. So, yeah, try this card out, especially at corner. I love this card. Thomas Davis Sr., 6'1". This guy has 96 block shed. Okay, I'll show you why I love this card. He can do a lot of different things. He gets double or nothing for one. So... This guy really helps against the pass rush as well. If you run a scheme where you blitz your safeties, this is a great guy to blitz. He also helps against man and zone, hits both thresholds. And I'm gonna tell you right now, his impact blocking matters. This guy really helps against the run. Get him, get a lot. I mean, there's a couple other guys I'm fixing to mention. Just go get him. He does not have a secondary position. He throws hit sticks. This guy changes games with hit sticks. He's heavy at 230, and this guy is really good. I suggest you go get him. I don't know why he's not on your team. Go get him right now. Thomas Davis. When I first got this card, he surprised me at 95 speed, at six foot one. He hits both thresholds for man and zone. Block shed's good enough. Hit power's great. He throws hit sticks, okay? Um, this guy, Bo Jackson. You get deep out zone for one pick artist for zero. So he gets really good at APs. And man, is he fast. Um, I enjoy this card. He notice him. He makes plays. All the pros use him. Uh, this guy reacts well, plays well. Go get him. He's not the cheapest, but he's worth the coins, actually. In this game, a safety like this, you will notice him. And he's number three on the list, Bo Jackson. Julius Peppers is number two, six foot seven. The difference is this guy plays zone and man. He hits to the man threshold unlike Ted, okay? This guy, you put him in zone, he just jumps over people. I have had him jump over people, grab the ball, and it's just his interception animations are just stupid. Go get him. Um, block shed, this guy helps against the pass. I mean... Double or nothing, you can blitz them. Deep out, zone KO for one. That's an S tier ability. I love this card. Uh, for 300K, I don't know why he would not be on your team. This is a must have. If you watch my video of must have cards, he's on the list. He's that good. Number one is Prez. It's not even close uh, because this guy gets something they don't get. So you can't really argue. Six one's big enough. And free safety. You can put him there. Block shed's great against the run. And let me tell you something right now. This guy is expensive, power him all the way up. But look at his, he gets crushed up for zero, and you get pick artist, or you get deep end zone, okay, whatever you wanna put. But the difference with this card is this. It's Prez. He's the only person that gets it. Fumble. Fumbles everywhere, okay? This guy does get fumbles, the X Factor does work, it does light up, and you should go get him, and he's worth the coins. Because if he gets you a fumble, he can change the game. And if you're changing the game, I mean, he's worth every coin. He, he can get you a ball back and win you the game. 
Um, I love this card. You should too. Go get him. You will not regret it. Um, he is expensive, yes, but some cards are worth it. Some cards are not. For example, Sammy Knight is not. This card gets an X Factor. He, nobody else gets. He's worth it. Go get him. That's going to do it for me. Be kind for no reason. Help each other. Encourage each other. I'll see you in the next video.